cannot believe you. You want to run away. Again. Come on, Lily. That's not fair. You're right. It's not. We built a home here, and you just want to abandon it because things are getting tough. What's going on? I was just trying to tell Lily that we need to start looking for a new place to live. We're too cramped in here, and our runners keep having to go farther and farther from the church to find supplies. Seems reasonable. Things have been pretty tight lately. Fine. Then maybe you should bail on us too. Oh, great. Well, welcome back to some more State of Decay. Oh, let's see. Looks like we're having to uh, explore some more housing options here. We got to help clear an infestation there. It looks like we do have uh, belongings to somebody there. We do have uh, Maya's belongings that we can go and retrieve over there as well. Uh, there's our rucksack of medicine we left last time that we can go pick up. But by the looks of things, let's go and help and clear an, uh, let's see, an infestation. We do have a handgun on this guy, so I think we're okay. Yeah, we've got a handgun and a melee weapon, so we're good. One of the things we are going to need, though, is a new vehicle. I'm headed out. I hear ya. We are in desperate need of a new vehicle. Prime example. Running over too many zombies like this. Get off of my car. There we go. I guess I should put it in the middle of the street because I'm going to end up having to drive through here eventually. So let's just park it right here for now. There we go. Perfect. That'll work. Come on over here, buddy. I got something for you. There you go. Oh, we got somebody else. Oh! Get back. Alright, I guess let's take the pizza delivery car. Come on. Get off my car. There we go. Perfect. Alright, right over here is where we gotta go. Over here. What's up, buddy? Give us a hand clearing this place out. We'll follow you. Watch my back. Head to the infestation. Oh, I thought it was here. <laughs> no, we don't want to board it up. All right, get in the pizza delivery car, dude. Let's do this. It's on now. All right, Someone's here we go. Oh, I just knocked him over. All right, dude, let's go inside. There we go. How many of these things are there? Who cares, man? Let's just get it over with. There we go. Come on. Come on. Give me a shot. Oh, crap. Ah, I freaking thought I heard something coming in behind me. I'm getting tired. Oh, dude, I'm coming. I'm just tired as well. Don't mind me. Okay, I'm pacing myself. Ah, the... There we go. 
Reload the six shooter. Oh crap. You got that one. Nice. Oh, we got another one coming over here. Come here. Bring it. Alright, let's check upstairs. What's up, buddies? Do we have anything else? Oh, I do see more people coming in. Nothing else in here. I know we got walkers inside here. I can hear them. Oh, there's one. Oh, two of them. Ah, oh, crap. It's one of those streamers. Get off of me, dude. Stay sharp. Oh, man. Come on. I was going to shoot it until he stepped in my way. There we go. Take care. I swear there's some stuff, something over here I could have checked. Is this house clear? I think this house is clear now. I don't think there's anything we can check here. Doesn't look like there's anything here we can check. Perfect. Alright, so... We can. Uh, we don't want to establish an outpost here. We're good with all that sort of stuff. We still need building supplies, though. That way we can start expanding back at home. It's one of the things that we do need. All right. So let's take a look at our map. Go scout for a larger place to call home. Um. Oh crap! Oh. Time to go. A larger place to call home, huh? What about a gas station with a bunch of zombies in front of it? No? Not a good idea? No. I think we should keep looking. There is a station wagon here I am going to take, though. All quiet here. I am going to take the family Griswold vacation vehicle, though. All right, let's see. A bigger place to live. What about the storage facility right here? Can we get in here? What's up here? Nothing worthwhile up there. All right, let's keep going. Dude, get away from my car. I have a feeling my pipe is already starting to break. Oh, that was pretty epic. All right, we gotta find a better place to live here. This is here. an open message to any survivors in Trumbull Valley. Marshall Municipal Courthouse is a safe place. We have food, security, and shelter. Provided you're willing to obey the law and contribute to society, you're welcome to join us here. Really? <laughs> Hmm, and where is that at exactly? 
zombie infestation. I wonder where those people were, were calling out from. We gotta clear out some of these guys. There we go. This seems like a... Ooh, what is that place? It's got like an upper level to it. Let's go check that place out. Yeah. And it's got a parking lot and everything. Let's try it and see. We're gonna have to clear this place out though. Get off me. Get off of me. Oh, crap, dude. Oh, crap. I need a breather. Okay, go, 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 go. No! This is not good. Not good. Not good. We gotta go. Get, dude, get in the car. Get in the car. ripped my door off, man. That was close. Okay, we got a breather. We're good now. Good night. And good night. We got one more zombie coming into our car here. Oh, we got another one creeping in. Gosh. Damn, I'm tired. Oh my gosh. Another one. There we go. This seems like a pretty cool place. I don't know if we can... This is Judge Lawton. Earlier today, our scouts informed me that they have identified multiple infestations in the downtown Marshall area. Based on this information, and for your own safety, I'm declaring a lockdown, effective immediately and until further notice. This is a matter for the police, and they will deal with it. I'll run this home. We'll be ready. Okay, so, let's see, can we call in... Can we establish an outpost here? Constructive... Hmm... Quentin Barnes completes current build and upgrade facility actions. Wouldn't be a bad idea to set up here. Pretty big step. Sure you want to go through with this? Yeah. Tell the gang we're building an outpost here. I'm headed home. Oh, there's our supply locker. Okay. So we can access the supply locker here. So at least we've got a, an outpost here now. I wonder how hard it would be to board this place up though. I don't even think we can board these windows up, can we? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> can we like close this door? I'd like to close this door, please. I don't feel very safe. There we go. Much better. That's really unfortunate that we can't, uh... <laughs> Great, just broke out another window. Alright, let's see. Lily is sad, huh? Oh, 
Oh, we got an ally in trouble right here. Let's go help out this ally in trouble. I'm headed out. You've been pushing yourself like crazy. Come home and get some rest. We gotta help this ally really quick and then we'll we'll head home. I got this asshole! I got you, man. I got you. I got your help right here. Yeah! Kick your sorry asses! Good job, buddy. But it's time for us to head home. <clears throat> Our guy's full of supplies and he's tired. I see something. Looks like an infestation. Yeah, there's an infestation right in that house right there now. Great. Just what we needed really close to home. It was another freaking infestation. How's it going? I'm almost there. We need to give this guy a break too, man. He's tired. There you go. Don't say I never gave you nothing. Oh, you know, stuff. Uh, should we? Nah. Let her cool down. She'll come around eventually. Might not be a bad idea to get out of here for a while, though. What's our sit rep? I need to trade off with somebody, man. This guy's tired. Anybody in here want to trade off with me? Anybody? How about you? No? Dang it. Nobody wants to trade with me. I'm tired. Come back here and see if anybody wants to trade with me. Definitely don't want to trade with the pastor guy. What about you? What's up? There we go. We need to get this guy geared up though, man. He's got two melee weapons and no gun. <laughs> okay, let's go get this guy geared up a little bit. Let the other guy rest. Wow, we have no more guns. We have all melee weapons. Wow. Okay, well, let's stash that then. He's at least got some uh, pain pills on him. I guess that's better than nothing. Uh, should we? Nah. Let her cool down. She'll come around eventually. I'm on. Cool. Let's head down towards Marshall. I think I know a place that might suit us. Or we can just drive around for a while and see what we see. Your call. So he wants to drive down towards Marshall, huh? Look for new home sites. I guess my little objective I made wasn't good enough for these guys. Well, let's go look for a new place then, shall we? And my little beat-up Griswold family vehicle. Since that's all we've got left, let's go for it. We need to stop and get a new vehicle along the way desperately. There's that one there. So let's stop and drop this one here. Come on, dude. Quickly now. There we go. Where we gotta turn? We're gonna turn right. And then the fork to the left. So turn right here, and then a fork to the left. Off we go. So, what was that with you and Lily? Hmm, it's a long story. Not much on the radio to fill the time. Good point. My mom died when I was 13. Lily was nine. I'm sorry. Yeah. Anyways, not long after that was when Lily was diagnosed. And our dad, he was, um, he's kind of a wreck. I had to pick up a lot of that slack. 
Jacob. I need you to be a man. Help take care of your sister. You know what I mean? It was a lot for a kid to live up to. I didn't handle it well. As soon as I turned 18, I told my dad that I was moving to Danforth and I was going to college. What happened? Oh, man. Man, he blew up. We had a huge fight. Didn't talk for years after that. I finally got back in touch with him just a couple of months ago, actually. And this is my first visit home. Anyway, I don't think Lily's quite forgiven me yet. It's my truck where I ran into that big monster back there and he destroyed it. <clears throat> I wonder if there's a way to turn these voices up. Voice volume. I'm going to turn these guys up a little bit and see if that helps. Okay, it looks like we need to go straight down this road and take a right. So this should be the spot where we got to take a right. Yep, right here. Like right here is where he's wanting us to go. Well, what do you think? Check this place out. It's got a big yard, a privacy wall that we could fortify pretty easily, and check out that tree fort. We could turn that into a watchtower easy. You seem pretty excited about this place. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, when I was a kid, my best friend Sally, she lived in this house. And I was so jealous. I always wanted to live here. Well then, let's take a look inside. Well, let's take a look inside, shall we? Jesus! Who's... can't see? Help me. What the heck? What the heck is wrong with him? Shoot the sick guy? What the hell was that? <laughs> Bees me. That, that didn't look like any disease I've ever seen. You? Nah. Maybe we gotta go, huh? I hear people talking. Dude, I don't have a gun. This is kind of creepy in here. Really quiet in here. Potential home site is clear. It says we need to leave the area. There, we left the area. Requires eight people and requires 30 materials. Potential home site, huh? I don't think we have all that, do we? All the materials that we're needing here? Let's come inside here. Potential home site. It's kind of a disaster in here though. Hmm. We don't want to create an outpost here. So, okay, well, um, this is definitely a place they're wanting us to build a house. I'm just not sure if we have enough materials to do so. 
Um, by the looks of things, we do not have any materials. So I guess we're going to have to go out and get some materials in order to, uh, to move into this place. Because it looks like uh, it requires 8 people and 30 materials. So hopefully that's something that we can get established. So at any rate, guys, I'm going to wrap up this video here. Hope you guys enjoyed another State of Decay. And uh, hopefully when we come back, we'll get some building materials and turn this into our next base. We'll see you guys next time.